What's up fellow AI gans? I'm now finally going to talk about one of the most important trends of the 21st century. And that would be my thoughts on the militarization of AI. Shit, what's that? You have said too much. Jokes aside, the militarization of AI is a pretty scary topic and to quote the head of the British Armed Forces, robot soldiers could make up a quarter of the British Armed Forces by the 2030s. So all in all, it will be coming in one form or another, whether we like it or not. With that being said, we'll cover autonomous weapons, robots, general trends in the armed forces, how this affects you and of course how you can use this information to shoot a bullet straight at the like button of course. Lethal autonomous weapons from here on called laws. Described as the third revolution in warfare after gunpowder and nuclear weapons. Laws are weapon systems that can identify, select and target without human control. Imagine a swarm of suicide drones, each featuring a few cameras, a computer and a few grams of explosive materials, just enough to penetrate the human skull. These weapons are so scary that even the Pope himself in this document pledged to the United Nations to think about their production carefully. Lethal autonomous weapon systems could irreversibly alter the nature of warfare, detaching it further from human agency. The Pope. So even a man that spends most of his non-COVID time waving from this bulletproof vehicle says that we should think twice about their development. Currently there exists not that many weapon systems that would fulfill the definition of lethal autonomous weapon systems. And that has mostly to do with the incredible secrecy that's surrounding such projects. But a 2017 report from the Stockholm Peace Research Institute catalogued 318 such autonomous weapon systems, 175 of which were armed. Currently many organizations have joined forces to combat the development of such autonomous weapon systems, which is a vague term that includes everything from spying drones recording you hitting the like button to Terminator-like killer robots. Hasta la vista. Baby. The main issue here is the fully autonomous part. Once the machine takes the final decision to kill completely autonomous, pretty much everyone thinks it's a terrible idea. 61% of the public thinks banning such weapon systems would be a good idea and also the European Parliament thinks we should go that direction. But the discussion is far from over, mostly because weapon producing countries have not taken such a clear stance. Additionally, most of the falling weapon systems could be turned into such lethal autonomous weapon systems relatively easily. After all, if we can build a package delivery drone, delivering a bomb is a mere technicality. Let's now look at some weapon systems and what they're actually capable of. Automatic aiming assistance, such as the system developed by Smart Shooter Precision Technology Solutions, an Israeli company. <laughs> While the general concept of such an automatic aiming system would be labeled as cheating by most of my former Counter-Strike friends, their capabilities could be very useful for policemen around the world, as we can see in this video where they're taking out the drone from quite a distance. But also the new T-14 tank produced in Putin's Russia features such an automatic aiming help. Additionally, it features an automatic defense system that detects incoming anti-tank missiles, grenades, everything that could scratch your expensive war toy by automatically detecting and defusing incoming danger. To quote the newspaper The Sun, yes, I know not the most credible news source out there, Professor of Artificial Intelligence and Robotics at Shellfield University, Noel Sharkey says that the T-14 is currently operated by remote control, but Russian scientists are rushing to make it fully autonomous. Such a scenario of largely autonomous fleets seeking and destroying their targets all by themselves is truly a great start for a dystopian story. Especially when you think about potential hacking attacks or backdoors that engineers build in for themselves, I think there could be quite a bit of an issue. Even though such systems are most certainly very well secured and tested, such a thought is very frightening. But enough of lethal weapons, also other autonomous military vehicles exist, such as the refilling drone by Boeing. The MQ-25 has been built and designed to fill up planes mid-flight, while currently this process is still partially controlled by a remote pilot, in the closer future these drones may do their magic completely autonomously very soon. And just as Tesla is working on the future of autonomous vehicles in the personal space, Oshkosh Defense Autonomous Technology is working on a battlefield taxi and resupply service autonomously moving troops and supplies in almost every possible territory. 
But not only in logistics, also in the James Bond world of spying, things are becoming increasingly intelligent. Project Maven was a Pentagon project to distinguish people on drone videos and give them the ability to track, tag and spy on people without human involvement. Luckily, Google employees stopped that collaboration with the Pentagon before things got a bit too automated. Another great example is DARPA's Squad X. It is an experiment to use artificial intelligence as a true partner for a squad. Multiple robots, both on the ground and in the air, autonomously and decentralized work together to give the squad an optimal overview of their fighting environment. Well, there is much more we could get into, especially in the world of mass surveillance. I think you got now a pretty great overview of how the battlefield of the future might look like. It will clearly become much more autonomously. And I think the future of war is also going to be much preciser. While this is not a huge pro, I think it could at least reduce the amount of civilian casualties. One more thing, stopkillerrobots.org is a website or an organization that I came across a lot during the research for this topic. And their main goal in life is to stop the world from developing those damn terminators. So please have a look and sign their open letter if you feel that building this future is a terrible idea. This has been with me for the week. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did. And please like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. It would help me and the channel out a lot. And also, well, you know, recommend this video to a brand new audience. It was a pleasure.